Article 4, Appropriation for the Community Preservation Committee Fund, to see if the town will vote a sum of money to be appropriated or reserved from estimated annual revenues of the Community Preservation Fund for fiscal year 2025, with each item to be considered a separate appropriation. There are two items that have received CPC recommendation for town meetings consideration. The first is in the amount of $55,000 for the Tingsboro Public Library Historic Preservation Project. Under this funding, the library will purchase a display case, which will be used to display some of the many historic artifacts that are currently being stored in their special collections room. This project will also see the restoration as well as the display of an old uh, map of the town of Tingsboro, which requires substantial historic preservation work. Finally, it will allow them to purchase the supplies and receive the training necessary to conduct an oral history of the Winslow School, a project designed to preserve memories and stories from people living in Tingsboro who attended the Winslow School or otherwise have stories about it. If approved, those supplies would also be able to be used by the library to create other oral history projects, further advancing the mission of the library and the goal of preserving historic artifacts. The second funding authorization is $550,000 for the Sherburn Road Recreation Parcel Phase 2. Many of you will know that as a part of the Toll Brothers project on what used to be the Tingsboro Country Club, Toll Brothers donated a large portion of land between Pawtucket Boulevard and Sherburn Ave to the town with the intent that the town would create a public gathering space full of walking trails, landscape features, and sport amenities. At the May 2023 annual town meeting, town meeting authorized $800,000 from the Community Preservation Fund for this work. Under that authorization, all of which the money has been allocated to date, we have a contract with Newport Construction, which will see the installation of basketball courts, pickleball courts, a horseshoe pit, bocce courts, shuffleboard, a pitch and a putt, as well as walkways around the sport amenities. That work is underway today, and if you drive by the site, you can see the progress that's been made. All of this work was designed by a committee that was called the, two, the Sherburn Road Open Space Committee, which represented a wide group of residents, representatives from various boards, including our recreation department, and they came up with a vision that was presented to town meeting, which included other amenities, like a volleyball court, a pavilion, and enhancing access to the site. Under this appropriation, if approved by town meeting, we would install a volleyball court with the current sport courts that are being installed today. We would also install about a half a mile of a fully accessible asphalt walkway, which replaces right now a half a mile stone dust trail, which is completely inaccessible. Finally, we would install a pavilion on the site, which would serve as an outdoor gathering space and community event space, which is lacking on the east side of the bridge. The, the Community Preservation Committee considered this request last month and recommended its approval seven to one.